this is um, the Entrepreneurship and Governance Research Group. And this is about me, um, Ibrahim Makela Salah from the Department of Political Science, Summit University of uh, Kwara State, Nigeria. I'm the one who always sends messages to your WhatsApp group. And yeah, it's, um, I'm, you can reach me, that's my contact information, my email, and you can send me an email or you can um, send me text. Um, so about us, uh, the Entrepreneurship and Governance Research Group is a research group in the College of Management and Social Sciences, Summit University of Accra State. Uh, like I said, it is um, still uh, a relatively um, new research group. Uh, was created about a month ago. Uh, so we were just about to making the um, ground preparations for uh, takeoff in, in the college. Um, as we do also do not have um, much of our students around, so we are waiting um, to kick off upon uh, resolve to fully kick off upon resumption in the college. So, like you already know, in the college we have five departments. Uh, we have four departments and five programs: you have, uh, management and accounting that help us the accounting and business administration programs. We have economics. We have um, political science, and we also have mass communication. So, if you remember when uh, on Monday when the researcher. Oh, sorry, when the uh, Dr. Sadiq was presenting on clean and renewable energy, you know, he mentioned, I, I was, and that's why I'm always uh, quick to ask them in what ways that they think that social sciences can um, come in into all of these research activities. And if you remember, he, he showed us a triple helix, a triangle of economics, law, and also geography. That is to say that, you know, and also Mr. Falabi just mentioned now about policy making, policy development, and shows that we also need, um, they, are, they, they cannot totally do without us. I remember um, I had to come in, in when we were writing the grants in some challenges that we we're likely going to face about the elections, you know, the upcoming general elections next year and the challenges of security, insurgency and elects. You know, so these are things for social science disciplines, you know, policy formulation, also budgeting. You know, you have accounting people who um, assisted us on the, the bursary department of the university and elects. You know, so it's a multidisciplinary um, approach uh, that is uh, taken. So what is our, our mission is to provide solutions to societal problems in the society through large scale production of goods and services, offer workshops, trainings and consultancy services um, to um, both public and private organizations in the areas of human resources, research and policy formulations. That is, uh, we're looking to uh, basically just provide solutions to societal challenges like in line with the vision of the vice chancellor. I already shared the vision of the vice chancellor on your WhatsApp group, so you can go through them. So basically, like I said before, our university is a knowledge-based economy, is knowledge-based institution, upper all and you know. So we would, uh, first of all, be providing solutions to our societal challenges uh, through large-scale production of goods and services. That is where entrepreneurship comes in. Uh, we would be um, producing innovation, innovative goods, uh, you know, and also services, you know, that um, would be tailored through towards solving our societal challenges and also offer workshops um, to companies and government officials, you know, trainings. As a citizen of learning and knowledge, we are supposed to teach um, um, the politicians, the policymakers how to do it. We're supposed to facilitate um, trainings with them. For example, now I can teach you in line of, um, if you, I don't know if you've ever heard of one professor Lumumba from um, Kenya, he is a very famous professor of political science. He comes um, or facilitates workshop with members of Nigerian uh, National Assembly and also across other countries in Africa. You know, so we offer workshops, you know, and trainings. You know, trainings. We have um, a department of political science. I know that political science also covers areas such as public administration. So we also offer trainings, human resources, and consultancy services to both public and private organizations in the areas of human resources research and policy formulation. For example, uh, one of the projects that we were currently working on, uh, as you will see data in the slide, is because we have an election that is fast approaching, we want to look at how we can, well, of course, in our immediate society here in Offer, how we can um, just um, do a quick survey of the um, voter behavior of the people here in Offer community. You know, what are the choices of the people? What do the people, um, what do they look for? What do the electorate or the voters now? 
what are the qualities that they look for before they cast their votes and then if we are able to do this then we can now organize a round table with all of these politicians and then educate them on how on the areas that they need uh to focus on in their campaigns and also in their manifestos and so we all offer um organizations in the areas of research um, um and policy formulations for um uh, uh, lawmakers. So our vision is to be the research-oriented faculty of staff and students capable of turning ideas and research capacity into financial gains. You know, I was mentioning yesterday about uh, being a tech boy. Uh, everybody wants to be tech because there's a lot of financial gains, but also in entrepreneurship um, and also, also in uh, consultancy policy formulations and the likes. We also have um, ways by which you can also uh, maximize your um, academic that is turning um, business proposal ideas into grant funding proposals. For example, you have a product, you have a, a you know, for example, now we well, we didn't have um, hand sanitizers before COVID nineteen. So, and where entrepreneurship comes in is that you can think of, or you know, those face masks that we had, the the, the face shields. You know, those those were innovations that uh, were to solve societal challenges at that time you know so we have if you have innovations and even apart from you know pandemics or emergency situation we also have our needs that we have it's until you bring out your needs that people will now realize that oh this is what i've been missing all my life you know we didn't know we needed a yam pounder or uh, until we we saw that yam pounder was more comfortable than using mortar and pesto so there are so many innovations that you can really turn out and the entrepreneurship we need we have an inter a dedicated entrepreneurship building it was a 40 million building that was donated to the university um so we have uh, an entrepreneurship center where we can look at all of these proposals we can um turn them into uh, financial gains and finished products so now how do we work the vision we want to ensure that all students key into the entrepreneurship policy of the university uh the university has an entrepreneurship um 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 an entrepreneurship um uh, policy and that is uh, we want to look at um, how we can also develop innovations and also in inventions so we also uh, want to organize trainings on research methodology trainings and seminars um so uh, we're also going to be organizing so many trainings um so many methodology workshops and seminars and also collaboration with other institutes uh, the last week i was talking about if um one of the previous speakers was talking about how if your parents work in a particular firm, we're also interested in collaboration. For example, if your parents work in the road safety, we can also organize um, uh, workshops for them in their company. We can also give them in line with political philosophers, public administration um, theories. We can, for example, we can talk about the scientific theory, um, uh, Frederick Taylor theory of management and the likes. So other institutes, for example, today we are scheduled to receive um, the Nigerian Navy School of Health Sciences in, in our campus today. So that's part of collaboration. We can organize trainings regardless if it's a private, or is a private or a um, public um, organization. And um, let me also mention that earlier this month, we were able to um, uh, collaborate with Choir State University. Uh, we had a, um, a two-day uh, workshop on grant right, grantmanship, research writing proposal, and formulation at the Choir State University that was organized between um, Summit University and Choir State, uh, sorry, so between Summit University and Choir State University, yeah. So that's part of collaboration. So we can, you know, we can write proposals, you know, um, and then submit them and then make sure that we help you uh, to equip your workforce uh, to help to develop their capacity. And also, we're also looking for research calls and grant works. Of course, they are also um, very, um, uh um a wide opportunity for research works here as as much as it, it revolves around governance um economic policies uh financial technology also and and the like so all of these are also very important to to all of us um here at uh in the in the college research group so our key areas are data data gathering and analysis uh we want to uh, we can help you gather data uh if your dad is a politician uh, if he needs to know his areas of strengths and areas of weaknesses, if he is a public servant, if he is a policymaker, if he is just even in the media or whatever, we can help you gather data and analyze uh, all your data. We have so many um, um, quality, 
qualified ants, you know, we have knowledge of different scientific methods of analysis. We're not just going to be giving you um, hearsay or whatever. We're going to subject it to scientific analysis. We also have trainings and workshops. Like I said before, we can organize trainings, workshops, and seminars, and, and the likes for you and your team. We also have policy formulation. We can also help you in, in policy formulations. Uh, if you need to organize drafts, um, a, a book, um, a policy paper, uh, uh for people in the house of representatives or the senate if you need a process of turning a bill if you need to um, present a bill we can help do that for you um, um we have uh experts in uh um, legislative studies here in in the university uh also apart from that maybe you want to write a, a law book or for your company um conditions of service and the likes. We also offer consultancy services. You know, let's let's meet, let's discuss, you know, whatever it is that you are interested in. That is also our areas of strength. You know, because in social sciences, like I said, we don't have chemicals to mix, so, and we don't have machines to train. It's people that we deal with. So we deal with people in their areas of needs as it relates to entrepreneurship and governance and uh, economic, um, policies. So what have we done? We recently submitted an application to the Yaradra Foundation Research Consultancy Project on um, elections in Nigeria. They were looking to um, carry out a research on elections in Nigeria. And of course, with the forthcoming elections, um, um, so we also submitted a proposal to them. And also, we also, some of us also applied for the Working Group in Africa Political Economy um, Research Grant. Um, that is what $9,000 that's about three million thereabouts. And if this money comes through, it's, I cannot take all of the money. You know, all of us are going to benefit from the money because we are also going to work for it. So you can take. There's already a body that has been submitted, and each of these, you know, each people that participate are going to get um, as much money as the duration of that um, work. So these are some of the opportunities that we're also looking for, um, maybe in terms of grants or in terms of consultancy projects or in terms of um, policy formulations and trainings and workshops. So how do you come in as, as our students or as members of our research group? Uh, we want you to attend our training sessions, our methodology workshops, our seminars, and, and the likes. Oh, but more importantly, we want you to show enthusiasm and passion to learn. Uh, like I said, I was talking about Fatima Mohammed Bashir now. Um, she had to stay back in school um, when our mates were at home um, and, and like. So she has to show enthusiasm and passion. To, and I can tell you that she's very much better off than she was uh, before the um, holiday. So you have to also show enthusiasm and passion to learn. You have to want to develop yourself. We cannot, um, it's only if you are interested. That's why. Um, um, it's optional. It's only for people that want to learn, that want to develop themselves. And you also have to do assignments because you're going to have a lot of assignments. You're going to know how to plan your time and also make sure that you, you know, carry out this assignment the way that they're supposed to done. Of course, there'll be corrections, you know, you may not get it at once, but that's where um, the, um, the um, members of the research group also come in. So we also have mentorship activities, you know, we can do mentoring. Uh, mentoring is becoming very important in, in these days. Uh, uh, we we always need a, a mentor to put us, put us through in some of um, our chosen fields and, and the like. So we also do all of this. And then we hope that um, upon resumption that we can have uh, full trainings. We already have a draft, uh, but it's yet to be approved of some of the things that we're going to do. We're going to organize some workshops in line with the research and innovation unit, and also in line with the, um, and also going through the College of Management and Social Sciences. So we look forward to having all of you on board. Uh, so thank you very much. That is uh, my presentation for you um, today. Okay, so uh, I had to present and I'm still going to have to continue with the program myself. So um, thank you very much, Mr. Ibrahim Salau, for that presentation. Uh, you must agree with me that it was a very uh, good presentation. So um, I want to take questions from people who are in, uh, from members of the audience. Um, Okay, so I want to take questions from members of the audience. If you have any questions to ask me or um, the last presenter, uh, Mrs. 
um, Afolabi Yusuf Ganiat. If you have any questions for me or um, the last speaker, please raise up your hand and we'll let you ask your question. Don't forget that this session is recorded and you can also rewatch it on our university YouTube page, uh, the bcwww.youtube.com forward slash Sunu TV. And you can always rewatch um, some of these um, um, events that we've had um, before. So I'll be taking questions for me or for Mrs. Afolabi Yusuf. Please signify by raising up your hand and let you ask your question. Okay, I'm still waiting for questions. In the absence of no question, I'm going to have to ask all of you questions today. Um, okay, let's have a quick chat. Um, okay, who wants to talk to me? If there's anybody that wants to talk to me, please raise up your hand and let us, let us see how you've been coming along with the program so far. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be looking at uh, Entrepreneurship and Management Day. Uh, we're going to be having people from um, the College of Management and Social Sciences coming, you know, with full force. Uh, we're going to have someone from the Department of Political Science. It's going to be talking on how you can hone on your leadership skills. Okay, I have someone that wants to talk here. Please unmute your microphone and um, love to hear you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay. okay. Uh, my name is Engineer Tajudin Odutayo, a uh, parent of uh, uh, Fatia Abubakar Odutayo. I enjoy the program from uh, Alaja Ganiyat and yours too. And um, my question is just: I want to ask if, since you said that the both entrepreneurship program is uh, free for everybody, and uh, like. The other drone technology that, that she had during the holiday, I learned. I think I was it was a great one, and I also watched the uh, the link by the uh, link sent by the VC, and I enjoyed it. So I was thinking that probably since we now have the newly constituted parent forum, whenever you'll be having any new entrepreneurship program, either science based or management based, I hope we'll be having uh, uh, invites to the parents too. And so that we also we be able to also to also GIA our student and school also to probably join the the program. That's my question. Well, of course, sir. Uh, um, this, um, for example, like I mentioned, some of the um, research activities that we've had, we had people also who are not even our students at all come from the community. Like I said, we have just three major responsibilities at Summit University. It's teaching, research, and community development. We are nothing without the of our community and also choir state at large. So we welcome um, people from different backgrounds, people from diverse um, backgrounds, regardless of um, social economic status or um, whatever it is. So we'll make sure that uh, it's, it's, we have noted it. Um, me and my team have noted it. And we'll make sure that um, whenever we're going to have any um, uh, the vice chancellor takes that a matter of priority to also keep the parents forum um, updated on any um, activities that we have, but we're also going to uh, make sure that we note it and uh, we work along with that as a matter of fact. I don't know if Mrs. Um, Ghania uh, uh, respond to that. No, no, thank you very much. Since I, I will submit to your response. Thank you, Mr. Odutai, Engineer Odutayo. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. And thank you, sir. Okay. Um, thank you very much. I will hope that we'll be able to answer your question, um, Engineer Tariji Odutayo. Um, okay. Someone is asking a question here. I uh, says, I don't understand what she meant by collaboration of ladies from other institutions in what she has explained earlier. I don't know if you are referring to um, Mrs. Afalabi or Fatima okay. Muhammad. I think that's for me. I mentioned that we just won a grant that is artificial intelligence for females in STEM. And I said we are in collaboration with neighboring institutions. Uh, are you hearing me? Hope I'm communicating. Okay, so we are in collaboration with others in other institutions uh, like Kwasi University, Federal University of Technology, Mino, University of Illinois, uh, Lado Lado University, Federal Poly of Art. 
Labiso Anamba and Joy University. So we are in collaboration with those university. So if you are from there, you can join the team and we will be organizing several workshops, conferences on how to make our females experts in artificial intelligence and everything that is under artificial intelligence. Also, we will be enjoying people from the community, from of our community and all the communities whereby our sisters university, our partner universities are situated to join, to enjoy from the program. So any female that you know or any male that's in, interested in artificial intelligence are welcome to join us. That's what I mean by collaboration from females in every sphere of life. Thank you very much. Hope that I've answered your question. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and um, thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Falabi Yusuf. Uh, we'll also, I don't know if anybody else has any question to ask uh, before we round up for today. Uh, it has been an amazing session today. We'll be able to look at our research here at Summit University of uh, Don't forget that tomorrow we're going to be having, um, I was saying earlier, we're going to be having um, an entrepreneurship and management, um, entrepreneurship management and social science day. Uh, uh, on the program tomorrow, we're going to be having people from the Department of Political Science. Um, we have um, talking about your leadership skills. We also have from the Entrepreneurship Unit of the University, Dr. Salau, um, is also going to be speaking with us. And also Mr. Sholola, who is the head of the Sulu TV for those of you mass communication. You're going to be um, hearing from him the facilities that we have, the prospects that we also have. You know, those of you that want to act, you know, in the drama series if you want to present radio programs or tv programs or photography or even print you know it's the man that you're going to be asking the questions tomorrow he just sent me a slide not too long ago so we're having um also um um four presenters tomorrow and uh we look forward to also having you tomorrow so um does anybody want to have any questions before we round up for today any questions comments Okay, please unmute your microphone, sir, and ask your question, sir. No, I was not asking any question. Maybe it was a mistake. Sorry. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, so questions from member, other members of the audience. Abibat, okay, Abibat just ask us a question. Fatima Ibrahim, Kendi Latifa, Mustafa Suleiman, um, do you want to ask us any questions uh, before we close for today? Can to make any contributions, comments, whatever it is before we round up for today? Uh, don't forget that this session is a recorded session and you can also rewatch it on our YouTube channel. You can follow us on all our social media platforms on WhatsApp, um, on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and TikTok. Um, so in the absence of no question, it has been an amazing day again here at the Summit University 2022 orientation program for fresh students. Um, I've had an amazing um, set of presenters today. Uh, Mrs. Mutiat Olai Tom Mohammed, uh, who is the head of the research, and we've also had uh, Mrs. Falabi Yusuf Ganiat Kemi, who is the coordinator of the Innovation and Advanced Science Research Group, and also myself, uh, who is the uh, coordinator for the Entrepreneurship and Governance Research Group here at Summit University of Art. So we'll meet you again from myself and my team here. I want to say a very big thank you to all of you for um, joining us again today. We also look forward to having you tomorrow. My name is Ibrahim Salau and bye-bye everybody. Assalamu